about 15 years ago, I was decorating the gym for my daughter's graduation, and I was on a cherry picker, one of those extension ladders, and the locking mechanism hadn't been put in place, so it collapsed on itself and crushed my head from front to back. Uh, but I, what happened during this experience was I left the top of my head, and I was like from. I was floating in the corner of the room looking down. I was surrounded by white light and I heard a voice say, you have a choice. And so even though I felt extremely blissful and like spacious and expansive, I looked down and saw my son who was standing there, who had witnessed this whole thing and I was like, I have to stay. Mm -hmm. I went to all kinds of doctors, had to relearn how to talk and how to walk again without fainting. It was a long journey, but during that time I started having dreams every night of these pieces that wanted to be born with this urgency, and, and so I started, as soon as I was able to work with my hands again in clay, I started making all of these figures and animals, and the neurosurgeon who I worked with wrote a book actually, and one person cured or helped cure herself or heal herself through an alternative method of working with her hands. Now, sort of, uh, it's like a back and forth, a conversation between my my heart and my hands and, and the clay. Yes, after my head injury, uh, I started dreaming every night of a clay piece, a clay figure or an animal that had this sense of urgency about it that needed to be made. So I would wake up in the morning and I would go to the studio and make that piece that I saw. It was like on a screen. It was That went on for many years after I was trying to heal myself from my head injury. If you would like to see more of my work or uh, be informed about my workshops, um, I have a website. It's www.carolinedouglas.com and um, there's a contact form on there if you want to send me an email, you can do that. Um, but also, I just encourage you, if you have gotten any inspiration from seeing all of these images and pieces, and uh, do something creative for yourself. I feel like that's where the magic happens. Even if you create a beautiful meal or create a beautiful living room, it's all about how you do it and how mm -hmm. your motivation and inspiration is coming through you. And I just feel like that has made me a happier person, and I bet it would make you one too.